Gracious Lord God, we give you thanks for the gift of your word. We give you thanks for the gift of intellect that you have given us. Um, we give you thanks above all for your spirit uh, that speaks uh, through your word. Help us to faithfully interpret it and faithfully share uh, your spirit with others. Amen. Amen. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day, and having done everything, to stand firm. Stand, therefore, and fasten the belt of truth around your waist, and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all of these, take the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. Pray also for me, so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it boldly as I must speak. So, this is... We find ourselves right at the end of Ephesians, right? This is Paul essentially concluding the book. He's got a little bit of a goodbye after yeah. this, but this is the, the part where we go, this is the end of my argument. This is the culmination of it. The struggle we are up against is great, but the power to persevere within it is greater. That being said, the power that is greater means we must rely on God because trying to do this on our own is not a great idea. This is not a good plan. No, not, not at all. And I think there at the very end of what you read kind of even hints that we're all in this. I, yeah. I like that Paul said, and pray for me. Yeah. This is Paul, the apostle, adm admitting, I need prayer too. So I'm not in bad yeah. company when I need people to pray. And here we are, him giving instructions. Mm -hmm. Finally, after all these things that I've been talking about, with this wonderful grace and all this wonderful stuff, you're in a battle. Yep. And I think it's important the order that he puts it in. Because so many times I hear people talk about this and they focus on the armor of God. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you need to put on the armor of God. Yes. But before that, there was a little bit of instruction about the power of God and his might. Right. And I think that really harkens to the importance of you can take the best armor in the world and put it on someone, totally. but if they're not strong enough to carry it, right. they're going to collapse. Think about David and Goliath, right? Yeah. You know, David knew that his protection was from the Lord. He didn't need the physical armor. The physical armor actually ruined his ability to do what it is. But yeah, you need, yeah, you need that strength to take it on. Even in our uh, military nowadays, uh, you have people that join the army, and you know, I think it's fair to say that our military has some really good armor, some really good weapons Fantastic, to give yeah. people that you would think that the tools make the man. However, that's not where they start in the military. No one goes anywhere in the military till they've been through basic training, right. which includes and is primarily focused on strength training. And so I think in a lot of ways, that's important for us to realize it's the same as Christians, except our strength training is through the relationship of Christ. It's not our strength, but it's in His power and His might that we have to get that set up first, then look at what we have from the armor. Well, and one of the things that's one of Paul's major axes to grind, period, and certainly comes through strongly in Ephesians, is part of what equips us, part of what strengthens us, is participation in Christian community, yeah. is being a part of the church. And I don't just say this is like the self-interested interested person who like runs a church, although I do. <laughs> it is definitely a strong theme throughout scripture, uh, yeah. certainly throughout 
Paul in the New Testament and also the Gospel of Matthew, both of these you know, folks are very interested in making sure you understand that key to what God is doing in the world and key to how we experience God in the world and get to be a part of God's work in the world is through participation in Christian community. Part of how we are able to have this armor or how we're able to put on this armor is because we are strengthened and supported by our interactions with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Here in Ephesians, one of the things Paul challenges us with is, if the church is going to be the body of Christ, then we must be the unified body of Christ. Right? Yeah. The mystery, he talks about, you know, that I can proclaim the mystery of the gospel. One of the key mysteries he's talking about here in Ephesians is the unity of Jews and Gentiles. Mm. For every part of our history prior to this, Jews and Gentiles were separated. In fact, you could sum up a lot of the Old Testament of going, y'all, can you stop being like the Gentiles for a second and listen? Right? That's the, the, right. Right? That's the key, key part of the prophets. And judges and kings is, yeah, yeah, I see what the Gentiles are doing. I know the other kids are doing that, but if they were to run off a cliff, would you? Oh, no, you ran off the cliff. Yep, you, you ran off the cliff. Again, here we go. <laughs> this keeps happening, right? This is my summation of the Old Testament. But here, in this new age, uh, inaugurated uh, by Christ's death and resurrection, we are not bound by that. We are now Jews and Gentiles get to participate both in the kingdom of God. And how that works out, these age-old polar opposites coming together, is part of the miracle worked in God, right? Of God throwing yeah. wide the doors and creating unity where that unity seems impossible. That yeah. is, the kingdom of God is this miraculous unifying of drastically different people. This is something we talk about a lot. Right, and it was very cutting edge for them. The Jews were very, we are God's chosen people. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, Gentiles means anyone who wasn't a Jew. You, you want to talk about the exclusive club, right. that's how the Jews viewed themselves. Mm -hmm. There is us and everyone else. Right. And God was bringing a change to that going, hey, but if you remember, that covenant I gave to Abraham right. was for both you and and everybody Be the father else. of many nations. Look mm -hmm. at the sky, look at the stars. Your children will exceed even that number, right? If you could even number the stars, which you can't because you don't have a telescope. They haven't right. been invented. They won't be invented for 4,500 4, more years. <laughs> and even then, even with our then. modern telescopes, we can't number right. all the stars. It's interesting, though, that really this idea of unity does play into with this idea of the armor, mm -hmm. especially contextually for, for them right there. Looking at how the Roman army worked at that time, they worked as a unit. Right. The armor was built and functioned best when linked together. Collectively. It's a phalanx. Yes, exactly. Well, that's Greek, but it's derived from all in that similar cultural world, you know, Paul steeped in Greco-Roman culture, right? Paul lives in both. Mm -hmm. He went to, you know, I joke a lot, went to Pharisee University, yeah. but he was also a Roman citizen. He's well steeped in both. He's well suited to be this apostle of the Gentiles.